Ah, uh, it's Jamie. Simon Mignolet was chatting shit. Get uh, banged! <laughs> <laughs> Get up! Jamie Vardy's having a party. Bring your vodka and your Charlie. Hello and welcome to episode number 11 of Bread and Butter Football Podcast. Uh, today, myself, Ash, will be Liverpool, who are shit, and Johnny is Leicester. Uh, what do you think about this one, then? Uh, Leicester win all over it? Mm, yes. I'm not going to lie, even as a <laughs> Liverpool fan, I am not confident in the slightest. Come on, you foxes. I do like Leicester, though. Like, oh, I just... <clears throat> Every week we say it's a matter of time before the drop off, and every week they score and win and go back to the top of the table. Yeah, episode three, I think we were asked. Well, we didn't ask, but we came up with the question: who will come with top four? We went Leicester. Nah, I think that was the answer. Yeah. And now we're at <laughs> number eleven, and we're starting to look a bit silly. So yeah, that's football. Uh, speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I think they've got a, a tough period coming up. They've got to play like some of them, some more of the big guys. I know they've got a great record against us, apart from the mighty Arsenal. That's true. But um, yeah, I think it's it'll be a tough time for them. But I can't, I cannot believe they'll sustain this through the season. Which I suppose is only good news for me as a gooner. The thing is, though, if they come out of this so-called tough period unscathed and still two or three points ahead of you guys it's got to be interesting because that bridge to fifth place if they want top four is going to get bigger and bigger yeah oh, I hope they get top four it would be a fucking crying shame if they didn't <laughs> yeah, after all I this agree. I agree if but they finish still. fourth and like Oof. and like Chelsea still win the Champions League is that uh, do they not get into Europe still or is that a still I think, the rule I, I think the rule is now Chelsea get Champions League but I think whoever gets fourth rest with well I think they should I think they still keep it they'll just have five in next year ah uh, right I think Bobby ooh nearly speaking of the top four and Manchester United living dangerously close and looking ugly. What do you think about Louis Van Gaal? I think he's looking ugly. <laughs> uh, I don't. He. <laughs> he. Uh, I mean, I don't enjoy watching Man U games, and I haven't for ever. But there were always a sort of certain brand of football. <laughs> I like mean, what? even under David Moyes, it was exciting because they were losing. So like to watch Van Gaal and it's yeah, but to watch Van Gaal and it's nil nil and it's fucking utter dog shite entertainment for what you pay at the Emma, at uh, Old Trafford. I agree. It's like putting wet spaghetti up a cat's ass in it. It's fucking awful. It is absolutely grim. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, I mean I don't, I don't know. I just I've never known like a team to have no shots in a home game. Yeah, I know. But yeah, like, they're, they're still a decent spot in the table. You know, they're still... I think if they're going to change a manager, I think everyone around them is hoping that they well, do not They do it later rather than sooner. Because if it happens now and they get someone decent in, which I'm sure we might come on to later. I reckon we will. But the um, thing is, uh, you look at the Christmas timetable and you think, hmm, not the best time to do it. Yeah, No. But you need to give somebody a, a transfer window, don't you, if you're expecting them to push on for the title. Mm. Do you trust Van Gaal? Not to Wait. just buy a defender and be done with it? Who's he going to buy, though? He's already spent £250 million and they're worse off. I know, but he needs a striker, surely to Christ. Anyone could say... Someone like... Javi Hernandez? A good player. I wonder who he used Chicharito to play for. scoring for fun. 18 in 19 games, is it? Something I think so, yeah. Oof. Ooh! Jesus. Dodgy, dodgy, mignole. He's awful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Absolutely horrendous. 
I don't know who's worse, him or Bogdan. Or Sacco. I don't even want to... Actually, I'm not even going to talk about my Liverpool defence. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just get upset. We haven't got, we haven't got on to Liverpool. Oh. Get in! <laughs> Big Robert Hoof! <laughs> get in! Big Bobby Hoof! It's so realistic, this game. Credit to the year. <laughs> he was on the bench until I put him on. That's a managerial masterclass right there. Minion. Hope Jürgen's you. watching. Fucking doyle him. <laughs> what was that game that um, Hooth was playing on Twitter? <laughs> Guessing if it was a chick or a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Right. That's upsetting. I'll tell you what I like on this game. Is that Jamie Vardy's got his blue bloody wrist straps on. Ah, it's brilliant, isn't it? So it, makes it means he can carry a full case of WKDs. He's only like a rank 70. Is it 72 or 75? I can't remember. I think they might have improved him recently. Ah, right. fuck off, Mario. Well, I'm still, call I'm still <laughs> calling it one season wonder. Nah, I'm not. I think, <laughs> I think he's good for getting at least 15 goals a season from now on in the Premier League, the way he plays. You reckon? Yeah. He didn't do too bad at the end of last year. I don't know. Ah, he's only 28. I could do with, we could do with him and Mahrez drying up, <laughs> eventually. Yeah, they've scored, what, 82% of their actual goals. Mahrez looks like a class act. Anyway, player. anyway, anyway. We're deflecting from Liverpool. We are. Because my goal sort of uh, deflecting that. Right. What is going on? Um... I'm going to say the honeymoon period of Jurgen Klopp offering players cups of tea and smiles and cups. Oh, I love that. I love that. Wow. Fuck's sake. I wish he did that in Who real fucking fuck life. He's Firmino. Who's he like? Never heard of him. Neither is he, yeah, with his face. Uh, never well, no, no, couldn't have heard of him. You lot hadn't heard of him until you'd, you'd fucking signed him. <laughs> he was anyway. the new fucking messiah sorry carry on I think the honeymoon period is over where you get the original boost and lift and Jürgen's the sort of character who can do that to anyone but I think he's realised how shit the team is and how bad the defence is I agree because well I've, I've got sort of sort of both sides of the coin here because I agree that one it's not his team and, you know, he can't be held responsible for Brendan's dog shit signings. However... <laughs> a lot of them. The same oh, fans... fucking fuck. Oh, come on! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He was on the bench as well. Was he? Yucky. Managerial masterclass. <laughs> we need to stop talking about Liverpool. Whenever we get into a conversation, someone fucking scores. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Oh. oh, I've come over all unnecessary. Oh. <laughs> Gan on, Chinji lad. He is the right. happiest player in the world when he scores. Have you seen him when he scores? He's so happy. He's I like... just have then, mate. Just have. You'll see it again in a second. Give me five minutes. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Right, carry on. What uh, right. Um, yeah, but the same fans that I'm seeing saying that it's not his team, give him time, blah, 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 blah. Were the same people going, oh, my God, look how amazing Jürgen Klopp is. I look agree. How, look, and, and don't get me wrong, I think he's brilliant. I think he's, I love the man. Which is a matter of time. Because I, oh, oh <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> I'll have that. Oh, fucking hell. Tracy Morgan, what's going on? <laughs> Keeper didn't even see that. Who the fucking hell's. Oh. The fuck <gasps> wow. Right, anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll get through this conversation in a minute. Uh, we're getting there. It's just two dodgy defending teams here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bollocks! Hello! Come on, Seaman Mignelli! Oh, have him off, man! You dirty tattooed bastard, you! Get off, man! I think he's got his tattoos on. I know. 
He's hiding them. Maybe he got them lasered off like Michael Schofield. Prison break spoilers. <laughs> Shit what a disgusting it. challenge that is. <laughs> Such a happy little Shinji and you're going to do that to him. Ah, oh, it's Jamie. Simon Mignolet was chatting shit. Get banged! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jamie Vardy's having a party, bring your vodka and your Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Where were we? Oh, fuck. My defence, yeah. Right, so what, what the fuck were we saying? Uh, yes, yeah, the, same, the same Liverpool fans that are, uh, say, were saying that Jurgen Klopp was basically sucking him off. And now saying, oh, he can't be blamed for it. Well, I'm sorry, but if you can blame him for the wins, you yeah. can blame him for the for the losses. I put a tweet about that because it was annoying me. Oh, did you? So I don't read our Twitter. I literally put that, like, don't, don't, um, you can't credit, oh my god. Oh! You can't credit you. Injured again. little Shinji. Oh. I literally put, you can't credit Jurgen for the wins and blame Rogers for the defeats. Oh. oh. No, you can't. No, that's exactly my point. It's annoying. Um, the thing is, though, like, I understand it was basically tactical the way we won them games. Like, But you got to think, as you learn in the Premier League, teams like Watford and Newcastle, you'd look and you think, mm, what can happen here? It's just the way they set up. Yeah. You've, you've, you've got to learn. And he will. Eventually. It's a matter of time before I hate Jurgen Klopp, because I hate all your managers eventually. Mm. So it's... <laughs> There's just something about them getting into it. It might be the club. The club might affect them. Just get into them. Yeah, and then it's just man. sort of start hating them. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Why do you like Jared Hulier and you didn't like? I'm not even going to mention his name because I don't like him. <laughs> what Rafa Benitez? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Jared Hulier struck me as a gentleman, and struck me as like. A bit of an Oswald Cobblepot little penguin creature, if he had a little umbrella. <laughs> Rafael Benitez strikes me as the type of bloke that hands out paninis in the dressing room. And fruit oh, yogurts. A little Spanish waiter. That looks like that toy shop owner from uh, Toy Story 2. <laughs> Big Gayal or whatever he's called. Oh. Mm. That's true. Ah. Oh! oh! Mark Albright and shit, by the way. Oh! Um, yeah. Oh, get it now, in. something has happened since our last podcast in the world of football and or Chelsea Football Club. Has there been another JQ award? <laughs> get his daughter's breasts out your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing he'll be invited to a few more of those functions. Very soon. <laughs> well, he's got a lot more spare time on his hands. Just a little bit. Yes. Um, I came out of the blue, I think. In a, oh, 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 fucking oh. save of the season. That's he poured out of nowhere. How'd he pull that out of his ass? Right. Um, it came as a bit of a shock because I thought. I, I want to say I thought. They seem to be. Improving a little bit, but at the same time, I'm not sure. I think it took a lot to get rid of Jose Mourinho, and it should have done because he won the league last year. However, um, it has been a lot. Like there's an awful lot. This has been an utterly shite start of the season. And if you're in a relegation battle before Christmas, you can't afford to wait till after Christmas to sack your manager. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's true. The only thing that. Like a lot of people commented on was the fact that the players decided to turn up a little bit. What do you reckon about that? No, I don't think so. I think uh, Sesky Ses Snakey Fabregas, uh, Eden Hazard, Diego Costa. Oh, I'll have a free kick for them. I behave. I agree. Where man. the fuck's Oscar? Where the fuck's Hazard? Where's Pedro? <laughs> Where's well the only the only team a uh, team the only player that I think turned up was William who's been fantastic yeah. this year and he's literally carried them well I say carried yeah. them his free kicks have carried them in certain games he actually has carried them as well good hairdo on him as well 
get that one. Oh, back. fuck off, ref. Yeah, cheating. Oh, <laughs> get your card back in your pocket, web, you fucking wanker. Oof. No, you don't beat Casper Schmeichel that easily, son. Who the fuck you been watching? I've been, I've beaten him twice already, haven't I? Not that, not with that team effort. Speaking of shit goalkeepers being beaten far too easily, uh, the sincere lack of dandruff doesn't seem to be helping Joe Hart's case at the moment. It's like a mountain, isn't it? It's like he turns his head and he just gets snowed on. It's he, he's shit. <laughs> I think. Oh my god. Ooh. Right. <clears throat> Do you think they should give Jack Butland the number one jersey for the Euros and the lead up to the World Cup or not? Oof. I think if you if you you've got the slightest sort of impression that Joe Hart isn't going to be your keeper for the World Cup, then you need to get Jack Butland in for the Euros. I'll answer it that way. Hmm. I think you cannot put somebody in for the Euros <sighs> if uh, you can't put somebody in for the World Cup. Sorry without a view to them being in the Euros, and I'm sure that Joe Hart is a view to be the World Cup. Go on, son! Ah! That's true. But... Ooh! Butland has the highest save ratio and the second most saves he's dealt with, which is pretty... Yeah, I think, all right. I think Jack Butland's brilliant. I, I prefer Jack Butland to um, Joe Hart. I just... I don't know, I just think, like, he's only 23 as well, so, like... Yeah, I know he's got youth, but I don't know. I just think experience would probably do him well, but it depends how Joe Hart does in the next. Yeah, broken. Oh, get he's, in. He's broke. That's Danny Sturridge down. Back to he the doesn't hospital. know real pain. Back to the hospital. Poor lad. That brings me on to another deflected question. What would you do with Daniel Sturridge if he hasn't played half the season? Knowing his quality um, for the Euros. Oh, you mean for the Euros, or you mean as Jurgen Klopp? I mean for like, well, a bit of both really, because you think about it, he can come well, on score put, goals, but he's always well, going to be put, injured. Put Danny Welbeck in that situation then. True, that's a good point. What do you do? I'm not saying that Danny Welbeck's got the same sort of finishing ability as Danny Sturridge. He's probably got more work rate, mind. Oh yeah, easily. but but he's out. He's had another setback now. I think it's March now, which is getting slightly worrying because. Nobody seems to know what's wrong with him at the moment. It seems a bit. It's all gone a bit Thomas Rosicki. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. offside. See, I like Welbeck, but as as it stands, I think there's a lot better. I think we've got better strikers at the minute to deal with him not being there for the Euros. Yeah, Jamie Vardy's having a party. Exactly, and you've got. Um, you could have Sturridge. You could have Rooney. You can even have Troy Deeney if you want to really gamble. That's all that I'm that is say. a bit of a gamble, that. But uh, 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 get in, uh, Gokhan in there, goal scorer. Oh, it's nearly out of the fucking stadium. Tell you what, not wrong with this performance here. This is why Leicester City are title contenders and Liverpool are not. Yeah, my defence. You can sound like that when you're lifting the league, <laughs> when you're lifting the trophy at the end of the season. <laughs> So, uh, we completely glossed over a question before. Um, Go on. If LVG does get the sack... Oh, shit, yeah. We're fucking. Is Oof. the logical choice Jose Mourinho? Uh, no. Is Bobby Charlton going to say no again, do you reckon? I don't think... He didn't want gonna... him last time, did he? After he, he poked Tito Villanova in the face and he got ill. I don't think they've got the balls to get him. I don't know. I don't think they should get him because he's a reprehensible little arsehole and as much as I hate well, Man United hate a strong word as much as they're not a threat anymore as much as I don't like Man United <clears throat> I think they're better than Mourinho I think they need a bit of class in there. But who, who, who is there? Oh. Claudio Ranieri No I don't know I, I, Honestly I don't know Brendan Rodgers <laughs> <Be rough. laughs> get his teeth a new job man needs a new veneers in a couple of years crack on <laughs> get him on radio did you ever used to watch as a kid that are real monsters 
I might have done. I don't know. I'm sure there's a character in that that looks like Brendan Rodgers. With his <laughs> teeth. I'll have to tweet it. I'll have to try and find it. If I'm wrong, I won't tweet it. But if, if I'm right, I'll tweet it because I, I'm sure there was some, like, odd large nose, white teeth, like, goat teeth in baby mouth sort of creature going on there. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think logical choice for Man United would be Ryan Giggs because I think they're lazy yes. and they won't get anyone. Yes. Yeah, give it to Ryan Giggs, but that's a big choice. Oh, fuck. Boom. But it's a big. Um, it's a pointless goal, isn't it? it it's is, a big yeah. job to get as your first sort of job, but it's obviously that's what he's been groomed for. Mm. Oh, is that is Gary Neville going to Valencia with a view to getting mm. that in, in a year or two? Ooh, well, where? Oh, eh? I don't know. I think Valencia is a good pull for uh, Neville, but I don't think he'll go back to United just yet. Fuck. No. Get in. Uh, this is our last podcast before Christmas, isn't it? It is, so from us too, have a good Christmas and don't drink too much and all that jazz. Yeah, do whatever you like, really. Don't listen to us. Yeah, we'll be doing it. I'm a, men- I'm a stand-up member of society, but Ash has made very poor life choices. So, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cunt. <laughs> oh, Bobby Firmino. Boom! Yeah, we'll be back over the course of New Year with some more games, because there's quite a lot. We could probably do two at some right. point, if we can, but obviously time do. constraints. So, yeah, have a good Christmas all, and don't forget to subscribe and all that lark. I follow our Twitter. I don't know what it is, but it's somewhere. It'll be on under YouTube somewhere. It's gr- it's big Google and green. Us. Yeah, it's there somewhere. Yeah.